Hi everybody, it's Mike in the drum room. I was going to spend just a second here and tell you about uh, something that I have in my uh, drum room here. The most beautiful drum I've ever had in my life. This one is a Slingerland Sound King Gene Krupa. So the official name of the Gene Krupa Sound King snare drum. It is chrome over brass and uh, it's a five by 14. And you know, uh, Slingerland is a name in the past that was really uh, uh, quite a drum. Uh, very well made and uh, uh, some very professional drummers played this, uh, i.e. Gene Krupa. I, uh, I ran across this, believe it or not, in a uh, fix the camera here just a little bit, cutting off my face. Beautiful as I am, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I ran across this one at a uh, at a pawn shop, and I was looking at several different drums there, and nothing held my interest at all. I uh, they were just too beat up, too dirty, and uh, the guy, the manager of the pawn shop, said, "You know, we we just got this one in just not too long ago," and he says, "If you want to go ahead and look at it, go ahead." Anyway, I picked up the bag unzipped it, opened it up, and there this drum was. I knew right away it was Slingerland, and that's something that I wanted. I was looking for a vintage drum, and this one just hit the mark. Now, uh, I did some research on this drum. It is a 1970 chrome over brass Gene Krupa Sound King snare drum. And uh, some of the features on the drum, it has the famous Zomatic snare drum strainer, and uh, it has uh, stick saber hoops. Uh, it is all brass overplayed with chrome. Uh, just a wonderful sounding drum. I was just totally blown away. Anyway, we came up with a price that I could buy it for. I immediately took it home, took it on my workbench, and totally took the thing apart. I shined and buffed and uh, did everything on it. The thing is literally perfect, literally perfect. There's Uzomatic snare drum, uh, snare strainer, excuse me. You can see the shell, the finish on it. There is the uh, logo. And being 1970, you can do the math, it's well over 40 years old. Uh, what had happened, evidently, this was bought for a student back in about 1970 and uh, his parents gave him this nice snare drum. He probably played it for about two months, put it in the closet and there it sat. Sat there for a little over 40 years and uh, took it into a pawn shop, wanted to get rid of it, didn't care, just wanted, anyway, I'm the lucky owner of that thing. Um, the model of it is uh, 130, uh, 5 by 14 8 lug snare drum, chrome over brass, as I said before. But what a wonderful drum. Uh, after I got this thing all cleaned up, I did put new heads on it, both uh, resonant and the snare side, and put some pure sound uh, snare wires on it. I was just totally blown away. I have never played anything that sounded this wonderful. I did some tuning. I tuned it tight and I tuned it a little bit loose. I'm just trying to play around with different things came up the sweet spot of the drums, and it's just a wonderful drum. Uh, these are a collectible item. Uh, there's not many of them out there, and um, I just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, thanks for stopping into the drum room, and we shall see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.